Okay, welcome back everybody. Today I'm just sort of answering a comment. Someone said, ah, Tomino never uh, review, never releases any of his ships. So I'm going to be releasing, releasing all of these ships that you see here, including this one, the crafty salvager made with only basic materials that we give away for free on the server. So I'm just going to run down the uh, down the line. This is the Bellus patrol ship. It fires a bunch of multicolored missiles with a clock. This one is the fabled Y hole, um, the Breaking Bad, with the Y hole drive. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is the one without the logic. Okay, so that's just the normal. Let's go on holiday, Winnebago. And there'll be some screenshots of all of these and links to the download pages. And then next we have the Golden Hummy Pig. This is a target ship. It has a bunch of shields and some weapons, and you spawn a bunch of them and you try to kill them. Uh, next up is my Mobius chair, which is for docking up and using to just fly about. Um, next is a slightly different chair with with a gravity block on it, I think. Next up, and I saw it's dark here. It's we're we're under the, we're above the sun for a reason. Um, and there is the Mobius desk, which I use for doing the ship reviews. What's this one? This one is the Peglu. Peglu is a sort of VTOL style AI ship. And I think the turrets have fallen off. Mm, probably need to put enhancers in. Next up is, I think this one's actually already up for download. This is the Millennium Falcon. I think it's 4 to 1 scale. I blew it up so that it just looked a bit better in Starmate. Next up is the Hero um, the Hero Class news ship. So I can't remember which version this is. I'm just going to double check. But there it is. It's the one which has the fractal templating. No. Ah, yeah, here we go. It's got the news set. So two green screens. And the uh, multicolor hanger. <laughs> okay, next up, the Hygrosybin. This was a mushroom styled speed build. Oh, turrets have popped off. Don't really need them anyway. So, this is uh, another mushroom ship. Bit of a patrol ship. Just for flying about in. A lot of fun. Rim in the back. As always, for your cambot or your chair or whatever. Or oh, two docks, spacious. Moving up, the uh, Space Xerox. This is a ship made with the copy paste template. Next up, the Mystic Moth. So. Mystic Moth is full of a lot of fun. Another speed build. Built off of a different ship, I think the Bellows sits in the middle of it. <coughs> Called the Moth because of the weird detailing at the front. I think this is the new ship refit. I can't remember. Ah, oh, here we go. The new ship refit has hup, a dock for the desk. Next up is the Space Apes. This one is actually Dalmont's Halberd class, I think. And it's been recolored in the style of wooden grills for the Space Ape race. It's going to be part of the cinematic, coming soon, as soon as the skins are fixed. And this, I think, is the y -Hole Fortress, which was used in a planetary assault video. Oh, no, it's not. It's the... Oh, wait, yeah, it is. There it is. It's got a uh, hole for the uh, asteroids, astronauts to jump out and grapple to their target. So, a breach craft. Um... Oh wait, this is the Space Xerox. I wonder what the other one was then. Fractal warship, probably. Okay, so this is the Space Xerox. Put this together for fun in about an hour or two. 
using copy paste techniques. Uh, most of the sort of corridors and rooms are just cosmetic. Next is Tamino's Revenge. This is based off of an anime. I'll leave it to you to see if you can figure it out. We showed it before. And if you recognize what this is, you go ahead and post it up in the chat comments. It's a uh, broad... It, it flies broadside. That's why it's aligned sideways in this line. So forwards is actually the way all those guns point. There are missile launchers where all the turrets come out the sides there. And the idea is that two players spawn one each and duel with them. And because you fly sideways, you have to kind of turn around. <clears throat> Next up is the uh, Terra Swarm, I think. I think this is the Terra Swarm. Got no indicators on, so I'm not sure. <laughs> But there'll be pictures for all of these. And the AI swarm ship. Spawn lots of them against yourself. This one is Tomino's house. This is basically modelled after my house. The one that I'm in right now. And if you just look through the window here. You can see there's my chair. And the core is the computer. And this is my window. <laughs> and the room is all to scale. <laughs> Kinda. And uh, there's my front door. My uh, neighbour who has the house part downstairs, he ended up being the engineering section, so sorry about that. Moving up, we've got the Triple Odyssey, one of my first chibi Star Trek ships. And for anyone that remembers when Overdrive was first introduced and it was super buffed, there's the Warp 5, which was the fastest ship on the server at the time. I think someone might have beaten it, but that's all we know of. And then here, we have the Viper 2, refit, downloaded it for refit Tuesdays. Uh, I think the only ship that is in the same place is the core. So it was based on another ship that was put up on the dock, but there is no similarity left now. It's all been completely refitted. But kudos to the guy that put the original up. I think I did credit him in the video, I can't remember. I think I did. Um, and then this is the World Eater refit, which comes with the completely new interior as of the latest patch. Um, all new interior, like I say, refitted. And then if we come around, the entire of the outside is also completely updated. And this would be my mining ship, or uh, once I finally got enough materials, that would be the mining ship. We're going to ignore this thing because I made it in a uh, dev preview and it's just silly. <laughs> and I think that's it. So yeah, there's the line. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to be getting all of these ships put up and the descriptions put in the description for this video. So if they're not in there, come back and check soon. And if you wanted any of these ships, uh, just go ahead. Please give us a comment so that I've got a reason to do another one of these. Um, I could easily do this every week, so just give out a whole bunch of ships and get them all put up on the dock for everyone to check out. And uh, like I say, if you like it, we'll keep doing it because I have a lot of ships. I've just never really had the time or the sort of push to put them out. Also, on a side note, if you're wondering what that multicolored thing is down there, um, this is a PvP map I made last night. It really doesn't take long to make maps. If you see the blue and the red up there, you go on, that's your team, and then you drop down. You can only land in one half of the map. And as you can see, it's like a big corridor shooter. Uh, once you're actually inside, it does look a little bit less crazy. But yeah. Uh, the reason that we're directly above the sun, like I said earlier, is a simple one. If you're in gravity and you decide you're going to ninja moves and jump up and somehow get on off the up here, yeah, that's all very well and good, you know. You can go and jump around and stuff, but if you fall off the side, you're landing in the sun. You're going to burn. So, anyway, um, welcome people to come in and check out the new PvP map for uh, shooting people and stoof. 
indicators are off, faction point loss is off, and detonators are at the top. So come by and check it out whenever you want. And thanks for watching. See you all next time.